it's not a little stretch of 50 miles, 100 miles. You got 1,000 miles. What did you call the this stretch of road? The Big Lonely. Just wide open, there's nothing out here. Brothers Tom, Jim, and Ken Carnes have been traversing the Big Lonely for 11 weeks, looking for clues about the disappearance of their father, Patrick, whose car was found abandoned on April 14th near a highway exit 20 miles east of Winnemucca. Lawman Curtis Cull does not think it's coincidental that another vehicle was found five years earlier abandoned in the same spot a month after its driver, a Reno woman, disappeared. Her vehicle uh, was located right here. This spot? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And she has never been found since. Is it like somebody's messing with you? I don't know. Great, thank you. Thanks to the tireless efforts of the Carnes brothers, posters with their father's information now hang in windows of hotels and gas stations from Reno to Wendover. If you look closely at the bulletin boards, there are others as well, missing persons cases that may or may not have come to the attention of police. The fact is, missing persons cases are reported in the hometowns of the people who are missing, not in the little towns along I-80. The Carnes family thinks there could be many more cases out here that anyone knows. The car was found. How many people have disappeared? That there's no car, so that you don't even know that maybe they were, this is the area where they disappeared. If you don't find the car, how did if he hadn't have got stopped outside Wells? We wouldn't have even known that he got this far. On the night of April 13th, Pat Carnes was pulled over by the Nevada Highway Patrol at this very spot, a few miles east of Wells, Nevada. It's the last place anyone saw him alive. A dash cam video recorded of that encounter provides tantalizing clues about what happened. Curtis Cull has studied every snippet of the video, including a grainy freeze frame shot of a tractor trailer with which Carnes seemed to have been traveling in tandem. Carnes even mentioned to the trooper he was following the trucker to Elko. Then he said something prophetic. I'm never driving at night again. <laughs> Interstate 80 is a major artery for the nation, busy with all sorts of traffic during the day. But after the sun goes down in the big lonely and darkness swallows up the high desert, truckers are pretty much all that you see. As Curtis Cull has searched for Pat Carnes, he's also developed an interest in Grant Modell of Rexburg, Idaho, across the state line. Modell vanished a month before Carnes did. To the east, Utah authorities are looking for a young man who disappeared in May along I-80 near Dugway. And to the west, an elderly hitchhiker vanished in April in that state's Humboldt County. Is it possible that the trucker who was traveling with Pat Carnes is a killer, even a serial killer? Maybe a husband and wife team who somehow gained Carnes' trust along the road? When we got into the scenario, like you mentioned, of truckers, apparently Pat, prior to, uh, prior to being the computer analyst, he was a trucker in Southern California and had an admiration for truckers and a trust of truckers. A guy and a woman. Uh, befriend the dog, come up, what a great looking dog at a gas station rest area. And uh, it's been mentioned to me, he could have been followed from Salt Lake City and they just wait until they get vulnerable. In 2009, the FBI established a task force to look at serial killers working as truck drivers. Since then, the Bureau has profiled more than 200 possible trucker killers and more than 500 murder victims, many of them prostitutes. At least 10 suspected trucker serial killers have been arrested, including Chester Todd, who was picked up in February here in Las Vegas, suspected in a string of rapes and murders. The Bureau has a map of possible trucker slayings, including six in Nevada, but has done little to publicize its task force and would not speak to us for this report. But this is... Curtis Cull, who has only 15 officers to cover 10,000 square miles, didn't know such a task force existed until we told him. The Bureau is now lending its expertise to the search for Pat Carnes and a possible serial killer in a big rig. But the longer it goes... When this period of time has gone by, um, yeah, it's, it's got bad written all over it. There's somebody out there that had to have seen something. Whether, I mean, like, you know, I'm not saying, oh, they saw it and they're not talking. But out of the corner of your eye, you saw something and you just kept going.